All right, welcome back. So many of you have asked, okay, how did we get here? So let's start from the beginning here. The remnants of Tropical Storm Barry that did uh, develop in the Bay of Campeche made landfall June 29th near Tampico, Mexico. What happened with all that moisture? Well, this ran into the Sierra Madre mountain range in Mexico, and this funneled all of this deep tropical moisture right into Central Texas. Now, as that moisture is moving into Central Texas, take a look at the position here. It runs into this MCV, this mesoscale convective vortex, which is basically a cutoff low, nothing moving this east or west, and that's what's producing training thunderstorms. And that's how we got those rainfall rates of four, five, six inches of rain per hour. Now let's look in at the Guadalupe River. So you have the North Fork and the South Fork, Camp Mystic, Camp La Junta, both on the South Fork. Now as all that moisture is being funneled in and you're getting those prolific rainfall rates, again, of three, four, five inches of rain per hour, you also have all these different uh, lakes, streams, tributaries that are running right into the Guadalupe River. So again, all of that made the river rise 20 feet above flood stage. But the initial watch was issued Thursday afternoon. You know, we only have so much on time on TV to talk about this, but this is all in detail. Meteorologist Pat Cavlin did a great job explaining this. And if you want to go to KHU.com and see this in a little more detail, you can. But overall, uh, Steph, I tried to break this down as fast as we could on television with the time that we have. But again, those watches did begin Thursday afternoon, which the first flash flood warning um, with these tags from the National Weather Service that did go to cell phones, NOAA's radios, and all of that mm -hmm. uh, started by 1 o'clock Friday morning. But again, more at KHOU.com. Yes, and, and it really puts in perspective when the majority of that rain came Started. down as, That's as right. those uh, children were sleeping. All right, Cheetah, thank you. We have extensive team coverage about the ongoing search and rescue efforts, plus how you can help the flood victims coming up after this short break.